going to show you our voltage controlled oscillator trainer VCO order code is 36298. So, this is the trainer kit, this is IC. Two, uh, this is IC4046, this IC is inbuilt, there are different number of capacitors, diode, registers, these are all inbuilt in this kit. There are two potentiometer, one is for 100K and one is 22K. This is IC regulated power supply plus 9 volt at 50 milli ampere inbuilt. And this is IC4093, this is also inbuilt. This is the main switch to turn on or off the K. This is manual, user manual and patch cords, these all are included in this kit and to do this experiment we will need uh, CRO or DSO. Our first experiment is to study voltage controlled oscillator and verify the frequency variation in accordance with input voltage. So, this is the connection that we need to build. So, first I am giving plus 9 volt supply to pin number 16 and I am connecting pin number 9 with pin number 16. Now I am connecting pin number 6 with the capacitor 0.1 microfarad. And from this it will be connected to pin number 7, this is in series connection. Now I am shorting pin number 3 and 4 and from pin number 11, this resistance 10K will be connected in series. from 10K potentiometer RV1 that is 100K will be connected in series and the and this terminal of the potentiometer will be connected with pin number 8. Now I am shorting pin number 5 and pin number 8. I am grounding pin number 8. So, my output will be from pin number 4. Before doing the experiment, keep the potentiometer at minimum value. Now, I am connecting the CRO at the output. Now observe the frequency here in CRO, now change the capacitor and observe the frequency. Like this keep changing the capacitor and note down the frequency. And from here, you can calcul calculate the frequency theoretically using this formula F equals to 1 by R1 C1. Now, we will see the wide range of VCO variable from near 0 to above 1.5 kilohertz. So, this is the connection that we need to build for this experiment. So, from so first we we'll need to give plus 9 volt power supply to pin number 16 and from pin number 16 there will be a connection here at potentiometer RV1. 
from this port of the RB1, this middle terminal, it will be connected to pin number 9. Now, we need to short pin number 5 and 8 and from this we need to give ground connection in this junction between 5 and 8. Also we need to connect the RV1 to ground. Now from pin number 11 a connection will go to the resistor 10k and from this we need to ground, ground in. From 6 there will be a capacitor 0.1 microfarad sorry 0.01 microfarad to be connected in series. And then this terminal of the capacitor will be connected to pin number 7. Now pin number 3 and 4 will be shorted and we will see the output from pin number 4. So, I am connecting this to ground and we will see the output from pin number 4. Now vary the input voltage with the help of the potentiometer and observe the frequency. It is seen that frequency does not reduces to 0. Our next experiment is to observe the wide range VCO with frequency fully variable down to 0. So, this is the connection that we need to build for this experiment. So, first we are going to connect pin number 12. with this resistor. Sorry, with this resistor 10 mega ohm. And give at this terminal of the resistor we will give here plus 9 volt power supply. Now connect 16, pin number 16 to this terminal of the resistor. Now we will give 6, 6 will go here at 0 0.01 microfarad. And from this four terminal of the capacitor, it will go to pin number 7. 
Now from 9 volt power supply we will connect this diode IN4148 and from here it will go to here to this potentiometer RV1. Now pin 9 will also be connected with potentiometer RV1. And from this terminal of RV1, it will go to this diode. Now give ground connection here. Connect pin number 11 with resistor 100K. And from this terminal, give this ground connection. Now, short 5 and 8, pin number 5 and 8, and from this junction, ground this connection. Also, short pin number 3 and 4, from 4, we will see the output. So, see the frequency and vary the potentiometer and see it reduces down to 0 frequency. Next experiment is to see the universal clock square wave generator. This is the circuit diagram that we need to build. So, first give positive supply pin number 16 now from pin number 16 positive supply to pin number 16. Now connect pin number 9 to this resistance 47K and from 47K it will go to this potentiometer 22K. I am shorting pin number 3 and 4, pin number 4 is my output 1. Now from pin number 12, it will go to this resistance 10 m and from this it will go here. 22k sorry here this resistance 22k from pin number 11 it will also be connected with 22k here and this terminal of 22k will be connected with 8, pin number 8. 
pin number 5 will be connected with another resistor 47k and the second terminal of 47k will be grounded. Now from 47k there will be another connection which will go to this IC4093 in number 3 here. Now, pin number 2 will be con connected with resistance 100k and this terminal of 100k will be grounded. Now also we need to ground pin number 8 from power supply We will connect this diode IN4148 and from this it will go to this potentiometer 22K. From this terminal of the potentiometer, we will connect the other diode, second diode IN4148 and this side of the diode will be connected to ground. pin number 9 we need to connect capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad and we need to ground it. And we will connect P number 6 to this capacitor 100 picofarad and this will connect with pin number 7. Now So this is the output waveform at pin number 2 and pin number 4. Now vary this capacitor and observe the output. And note down the frequency. Like this.